doing shit. <clears throat> you know, the young, young star and whatever. We'll take care of the videography and all that shit for us. So whenever you see something going down, you know, that knowledge record shit up there, you know, that W and that sign, whatever, you know what it is and shit. I mean, my man right here, showing with the cigarettes and shit. And trust, it's just the only motherfucker that can smoke cigarettes around him. You feel me? Oh but shit! It says they don't go down. Other That's than why that. I got that shit up there. It's so bad. It's just this the man right here. Sound, sound unique, you know, rhyme, sing, do what I gotta do. About to rip a whole new one in the industry. And y'all gonna see us, and we come, we gonna reach heaven. And then the devastation is gonna be massive. <laughs> Y'all know me. You know, I've been doing this shit for a minute, niggas. Don't get it twisted. I think just because I'm coming at you niggas now, that you know, I just stuck on the scene with some shit the last couple of years. I decided I'm gonna be a rapper or some shit like that. I don't fucking rap, nigga. My MC. I mean, this shit is in my soul. I was born to do this shit. He's gone. I've been doing this shit for years, homie. Years. I mean, you know, I've done it for a second before I've been out my fucking ass. That's why they call me cold, baby. You feel me? Let me tell y'all niggas, man. When it comes to this street shit, you know it's only a couple of niggas ahead of me and shit. And I respect my lane, you feel me? So as far as this street shit here in Philly, you pretty much know what it is. You gonna hear a lot of MC, and you gonna hear a lot of shit, this, that, and the third. But you will not hear the gutter unless you're talking to the nigga season. You feel me? When did I first meet you, man? It's like eight years ago. First time I met this guy, he came to me with a business plan. First time I ever had a rapper come to the studio with a business plan. I started late. A few years later, still struggling, still gonna get it. Now this record's ready to take the fuck off. Like I said, discipline, dedication, diligence, determination. Follow the rules, pay attention. Make something happen with yourself. A lot of niggas told me I wasn't paid for shit. Regardless of what, I'm one of the hottest niggas you should ever hear on the microphone. Some of them unspoken rules too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely some drawbacks and shit, but we learn to uh, overcome all challenges. Yeah, but it's always like the game's got rules that you know about, and then there's the one you only find out about from being in it. Yeah. You know? Yep. That's that's called life experience. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We try to do, experience it, do the best with it. I mean, you know. it's time for the real motherfucker to step up. Cause he's and trust me, you don't know all the niggas. Records. All the niggas that you see with them record deals, there's a lot of funny motherfuckers, man. Cause you see, like, I'm gonna tell you, tell you like this, man. These niggas do what they do and shit, as you see. You know, shit changing and all that and whatnot. Like, these niggas get paid to do this shit, man. They have marketing, a marketing team. They also have a promotional team. They say, look, you want to dress you up like this. You want to do this out on the right. You want to do this with gimmick or whatever. Like, these niggas out here, it's not going on for that. Just because, you know, this shit is in your soul or whatever. Like, you want to change necessary to sell out on any type of gimmick. You feel me? So, just rock the mic. Niggas will respect you for rocking the mic. You feel me? Like, there's no amount of money that you can give me to wear some of the shit that you got these niggas out here wearing these days. You feel me? There's no amount of money. Like, I don't give a fuck if y'all say, damn, niggas that be the old way, you stuck in the fucking 90s, you with a baggy clothes, so what? You ain't never gonna say I look like I'm faggot. 
you feel me? So never say that to me. So if anything you want to say to me, you just want to be brought up. You're not going to cross me with disrespect. You feel me? That's not right. That's just what it is. I'm real good. Let's just leave it at that. Let's rock the mic. Let's make some money. I mean, we'll burn some good grain. You know what I mean? Let's have some fun. I mean, we can take this whole thing over. Bring it back to the East Coast where it's supposed to be. No niggas will do what they do. But, uh, I mean, it's time to shine, huh? This is where the sun come up. Let's get it down. Get back to my weed and shit, man. Yeah. It's definitely also about doing what you love. You got to do what you love. Because whenever you don't, you try to do it for some other reason. People know it's insincere. You know? You will never be happy doing it that way either. Everybody in competition with the next motherfucker and they forgetting. Why you, why you, if you... If you really showing your true art form, you you ain't going to be in competition with nobody else because you're going to be all off on your own field. Definitely. You ain't going to be, they can't block you into a genre. They're just going to be like that, just, they just hot. That's all. When when nobody else can can say anything or compare you to anybody else, but they can just say you're up there with the greatest, <clears throat> That's that means more to me than somebody telling me I sound like somebody else because that would mean what that means to me. I gotta reinvent myself again. If I sound like anybody, up, uh, time to change something. Up, uh, time to riff different. Up, uh, time to learn a new type of whatever. You know what I mean? And when you when you taking over the industry, step by step, follow the Boys, follow the rules. Everybody can make money. Everybody can stay happy. That's all that's that's all that's all that's all on the low low, they know you had dope. They see you had dope. You rockin' mad clothes on the road. Your boys hot to greet you. That's right. <clears throat> Sorry about the Dr. Phil shit. <laughs> I gotta bring Dr. Phil to the table every once in a while. <clears throat> Alright, let's put a mix on this shit. I got it.